let me just share a presentation hold on okay ready phobia fear is there anyone here who does not fear anything show of hands maybe nobody i know dear toastmasters dear guests a few weeks ago our friend werner gave a speech and in his presentation he used certain pictures that triggered me now i was triggered to such an extent that i had to prepare a speech about that and i'm going to talk about my biggest fear arachnophobia the fear of spiders yeah, a lot of people are agreeing with me i'm happy now if you're a normal person you would also share my fear if it is one of the main reasons that i chose to do masters in germany and not go to australia because in australia there are spiders as big as dogs if you think spiders are cool it is probably because of this guy ah uh-huh. now who wouldn't like to swing around new york city in style but that is just a completely different world the real world of spiders is a whole another horror story and i'm stopping the share let me tell you my story my dear friends back when i was a child uh, i used to go to my grandparents place for summer vacation and in this place it receives a lot of rainfall and because the water stagnates uh, there will be a lot of mosquitoes breeding and because of that there will be a lot of frogs and because that because of that there will be a lot of garden snakes and because of that there will be a lot of king cobras this is called the food chain but this is outside the house inside the house it's a different story there will be like small bugs and then there will be big, bigger beetles and then there will be bigger lizards and in the corner of the rooms there will be this eight legged monster that just hides when i was a child my grandma once asked me to go to the store room and take some stuff as i was there i was moving past certain jars and everything there i saw it what did i see this this is actually an indian spider it's called an indian huntsman and it is as big as my face i have seen smaller spiders before but this was the first time i'm seeing one this big and ever since this incident i stop every ever since this incident whenever i go into a room i would just check whether is there any creature over there the following incident happened when i was 10 years old the summer vacation i woke up early and i went to take a bath now the bathroom was a very small room so before entering i did my primary inspection whether anything was there or not the coast was clear now in our bathrooms there were no uh, showers we used a cup bucket and a bar of soap take bath now as i was bathing I was dropping soap all over my body i had this intuition i wasn't alone in that room within the next second i heard one thud sound i looked inside the bucket because that was where the sound came from there i saw it big black spider now that was not the real issue that was not the real issue was not that when i saw into the bucket the spider was there the real issue was when i wiped the soap from my eyes and i looked again the spider was gone i looked around the bathroom spider was gone 
i didn't want to be inside that room now there was a towel hanging on the bar over there but i didn't know that the spider was hanging hiding behind that now as you know that you wrap the towel around your waist and i didn't want that spider to come anywhere near my junk so i just did what any kid would do i ran out of the bathroom with wearing nothing just trails of soap and water dripping now would be a very good time to tell you that my grandparents house is a very old style house which means the bathroom and the main house are two separate buildings and there is a road that connects them on the other side of the road is a is a town where people just walk around and that morning everybody who was there saw me running completely naked there was the newspaper guy <laughs> the milkman <laughs> and so many ladies who are still my fans and uh, because of that incident every time i see a spider i would call my 75 year old grandfather to go and kill it even today i am afraid of spiders let me tell you one thing the fact that there are spiders in this world is enough reason for you to protect yourself with assault rifles and flame throwers let's say you have a spider in your house there's a spider that is walking in your bed my suggestion to you is burn the bed and to be safe burn your entire house just to be sure once more drop a nuclear bomb on your town and move to a different city now and when elon musk finally tries to uh, become successful in colonizing mars take the first rocket go there and settle down in peace there are no spiders in mars at least i hope so every fear can be overcome we can embolden ourselves to overcome any fear now i read online that the way to overcome arachnophobia is by exposure therapy and that means you have to let a spider walk on you to that i say hell no not now not ever not in this lifetime back to the toastmaster thank you